Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Okay, I'm clearly dressed for winter. It is winter time when I am doing this video, and it's a very different type of video. I should explain, but before I overheat, let me take off my Agnelli gloves, and I'm going to unzip my Royal Filmware jacket that you see Bond wear when he goes to visit Mr. White in Austria. And of course, I'm wearing N-Peel, the N-Peel top that he wears in the movie, absolutely screen accurate. And I have right here, brand new pants. We'll get some close up of this from Royal Filmware, which are exact replicas of the one that Bond wears with the same outfit. You see what we did here? And by the way, yes, I'm a completist for this particular day. I'm wearing the Omega Spectre watch. Now, the first thing you should be saying to yourself is David, you got a little bit of a hodgepodge going here. You've got some frugal bond moments with the jacket and obviously the pants. Yet you've got the original N Peel, luxury brand, Omega luxury brand. And Agnelli, the gloves, although they're not overly expensive, they're the original brands. I do have a mishmash, and it's to have a conversation about something that we don't usually talk about. Now, on my channel, I have a slew of frugal bond discussions, and I want to I want to start with that because there is absolutely nothing wrong with the frugal bond. In fact, I am a huge proponent of the frugal bond for some pretty philosophical reasons. First of all, I don't believe that James Bond sartorial moments or, or getting the James Bond styler look should be connected or aligned to the size of your wallet. I know you're the guy, David. You're the guy. You're the guy who talks about all these brands coming out and things like that and luxury moments and customer experience. I am that same guy, but I'm also the guy that says this is for everyone. So for those of you that went out to JCPenney's and got a blue polo to replicate the one from Casino Royale for 15 bucks, I salute you. I think it's fantastic. And look, there are websites that have been born and raised out of this, like Iconic Alternatives. And they're incredibly popular. I mean, the, the guys over there, the administrators, they, they do the Lord's work. They really do. And this jacket that I'm wearing right now from Royal Filmware, which I really loved from the movie. I think Bond, look at that picture of Bond. Look at that picture. I mean, that's Bond. And, and it's a great scene that I love from that movie. I really wanted to capture it. But I remember very, very, very specifically getting the Dior which was thousands of dollars. And I just said to myself, I'm not going to wear this as much as I should. Here I have this luxury brand gathering dust. It's a bit of a sin, but then look at this, Daniel Love, not his poor name, his real name, Daniel Love, uh, of the Love Boat, of course. He did this jacket. He did it the first time. He got a kind of a royal blue, and then he did it the next time with this perfect blue, the zippers, everything. Looks the part of the Dior jacket, first of all. The Dior jacket is not available. So he takes these resurrection moments of things that don't exist anymore. And he takes the two heart paddles and ba-boom, and he pulls it out. That's amazing to me that he can do that. And he's a fan, so he gets behind it. He did the same thing with these pants right here, these puppy two pants, where he said, look, everybody wants these pants. They can't get them anymore. But boom resurrection and yet in a frugal bond moment these original pants would have cost ooh, well over a thousand dollars and like i said the original dior jacket would have cost over four thousand dollars all right so i hope you understand i'm a big champion of the frugal bond moment but that's not the game we always play because sometimes we'll say you know something i'm gonna save my ducats my dollars for the actual correct end peel cashmere. Super soft, super luxurious, and it's dead on. It's screen accurate because it was the one from the movie. But I've got my Royal Filmware, so I'm mixing and matching. Maybe I've got the Spectre Omega watch, but maybe I have an homage watch, and that's fine. My point being is, the reality of what we're doing here in the Bond tutorial world is, it's not always going to be frugal Bond. And very often, it's not always going to be the lap of luxury, correct brands. It's going to be a mix and match of both. And that, to me, is the absolute spice of life. That, when I wear this entire outfit out, and it's rare, I'll be honest, 
I try to avoid cosplay. It's rare. But what I do is I love to play the connection point of this is a jacket. If I wear it twice a year or three times a year and it costs me a fraction, uh, quite frankly, less than 10% of what the Dior was, it doesn't weigh on me like a telltale heart in the middle of the night. The guilt doesn't thrust its hands and throttle my throat accordingly. No, I feel good about it. And so putting this outfit together, which by the way, is a bit of a visible moment. The world out there doesn't know this is a Bond outfit. I do, I do. And yes, I've got a beanie hat somewhere in the closet to match it all. Here's the reality, because we're talking about reality here. I'm not the only one who does this. I know, you're watching the Bond experience, you're like, David, you're kind of a unique individual. I don't know if you looked in the mirror this morning. I mean, does everybody do this? Do they do this mix and match game? You know something? Let's ask a simple bystander. And of course, is there a bystander around when you need one? There happens to be one in my house right now. Luke Taggart. Oh my gosh, how Hello, are brother? you? How you doing? How's it going? But, oh, that's Good the... See, uh, that's my dad's handshake. That's hand your dad's there. handshake. Listen, we've got Luke Taggart from Bond's Apartment. Amazing Hello. YouTube channel where you oh, talk about you. a lot of things like Bond brands. Yeah. So you heard, I mean, I know you were off camera having like three martinis. You heard my discussion. Is this a thing like mixing yeah. luxury and frugal together? Yeah, because, you know, for starters, with something like your outfit, this, like you said, isn't something you can find anymore. Right. So you're kind of going to have to take the frugal approach, period. Not to mention, what was it? 10 times the price of yeah, this frugal version? Yeah, it was version? literally 10 times. I mean, when you were talking and I was sitting there and you said, you know, it's kind of like you'll wear this out, if something spills on it or whatever, you're not that upset. Yeah. I think you'd be mostly upset like, oh, to replace it, it's going to take a while just because it's coming from Australia. Australia. But rather than I could never possibly find this thing again and it's 10 grand or whatever the original was. So, yeah. I exactly. Mean, and it's, it's good where, like you said with the watch, You've got the Quantum of Solace Planet Ocean on. I don't. I have the Spectre oh, you're one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's had it on so much. We're not going to edit that out because He's this had it is on a human so moment. much because it's it's basically his new watch. Okay, so you got the Spectre watch on, right. which is of course authentic yep. and to the outfit, but the rest of the outfit is a frugal moment, except for of course the yeah, hand peel. It's bit. and and by the way, for those of you eagle eyed out there, and I know who you are. You did the same thing. I did. So I you've did. got the Levi's Menlo jacket. Authentic, but Levi's. Levi's. Not Dior or know, Billy Reed. Exactly. Or, you know, something that's So it was a few hundred dollars. It wasn't thousands yes. of dollars. And then I've got the Royal Filmware Enjoying Death shirt. Right. And so the original Zara one would be probably, honestly, you'd have to put multiple ones together. It'd be like $1,200 right. for the original Zara. Right. This Which is, Zara's not an expensive brand, but it's just yeah. hard. This is like $75. Right. And then I've got Uniqlo chinos on. Yeah. Like a, kind of like a baby cord yeah. chino. Yeah. But you can get away with any chino maybe just you can if you're trying to do the full outfit a tan chino yeah but i mean like a tan any, gray yeah. you can really go to any gap Banana but from, from far away people would know like we're going to gather all tonight when we're doing this you would walk in and people would be like oh, oh he's, he's wearing that. the enduring death outfit right i totally get right. it but then you mixed it up with with the skyfall so this is the skyfall planet ocean that we see in turkey and I don't know if I don't know if we know if he's wearing a watch during this scene, but if he is, it would probably be this watch. Put it in the comments. You you think Lorenzo would know? No. Yeah, maybe. Do you think he does? Maybe. I don't know. He's not here though. Never asked him. I know. But I mean, it's it's all throughout Turkey. It's when he's on the train. It's when he gets shot. So next time we see him, he is not living the luxury lifestyle. He is kind of grunging it down. Yep. And I would assume if he had any watch with him, it would be the one that he had on when he was shot. Now I'm going to grab something off screen, but while I do that, talk to the, <laughs> talk to the wonderful people about there. Do you do this in your everyday life? Yes. Do you mix and match these things? So I do. I do because like I was trying to point out when I incorrectly grabbed what David's watch was say you want to spend the money on something. The watch is something you can wear it every day. You can wear it. It's going to last a long time. It's but a watch, and you say it more than anybody I know. It's meant to be worn. Yeah. If it gets All scratches, I mean, and of course, you send it into Omega, as you know, they'll send it back looking brand new. But spend the money on the watch or something you really, really want, and and go the frugal route with. It's just it's just a you know 
at the end of the day, it's a light blue long a, sleeve. Sure, if you can find one with any sort of blue something on it, like right. these are blue flowers. I don't know what? But who knows? Who cares? Yeah. Because like David said, if I walk into Gather all the day, everyone's going to know it's enjoying death. But then if I walk into some restaurant in Michigan, no one's going to know what it is. Yeah. So Thank it's, goodness. It's not cosplay all the time. They'll roll you in the alley. By the way, this is just, I wanted to give people a close up. This is what I meant by the puppy tooth. And you can see this is the royal wear. So this is, um, I'm wearing a size 32 right now, which fits me perfectly. I'm like a 31. But these have a stretch to them, which is really great. Oh, yeah. um, they've got the right frog's mouth pocket. They've got the right, but the texture of the puppy tooth, this is, if you were trying to get a replica of this or the actual one, you would be, what are you, <laughs> bombing? Uh, you'd be really hard pressed to do this. Yes. So then you've got these iconic alternatives. You've got Royal Filmware. You've got Magnoli. These groups out there that are saying, look, you've got two reasons to buy Frugal. Two reasons. Either one, you're watching your budget and mm -hmm. good on you and you're, you're smart like that. And then the second reason is you cannot find the pieces anymore like I can't find this anymore, so somebody like this makes it. Yeah, and to go back to your outfit, this is actually, I don't know if I can even say it now that we're live here, but What's that? potentially my favorite Bond outfit ever. Out of all ever. the films? All, out of all of them. Oh my gosh. And the reason being is when he gets into Mr. White's place and yes. he takes the beanie off. And he's he just leaning looks over. fantastic. Yeah. But... Say I did go buy the actual Dior. I hunted it down. It ends up costing ten grand or whatever because now it's what eleven years old or or no Spectre fifteen. You 15. know, it's like seven yeah. years old yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I find it somehow. It's been worn. It's been passed around through a few people. I'm less inclined to then go spend five or six hundred on this turtleneck, or because I've just spent more than a watch on yeah. just the jacket. So when I got because I have this Royale filmware. Dior. Right. Do you wear it? Um, I wear it all the time. Yeah. And it is incredible. And it, it's still, look, <laughs> I'm going to say something that's going to go probably against some of the things I've said in other videos. There's no magical material. I mean, no. the original one is made out of a very soft cashmere that's mm -hmm. incredibly supple. But the, the differential between this and the Dior, I don't think is 10 times better. No. The Dior. And no. you can't find it. So here's the reality. I know three people. Oh, German three. I know three people who have purchased the Dior jacket back when it was available for thousands of dollars. All three of them, this is going to be a testimony, all three of them have now sold their jacket. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. So I, I think it's just one of these things that we've got to wrestle with and be honest with and say, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the frugal ways are the best. Yeah. I mean, it, personally, bottom line is I would be very scared to wear the real jacket anywhere. I mean, even yeah. something like this, because of the lighter gray color, yep. you know, it is cashmere, it can snag on things. It can. But it's not the price of that. Yeah, and it, this is hardy, which is really good. Yes. I mean, that, that's the other thing, too. And it, again, this is not a video that's, oh, Frugal Bond wins the day and, and luxury brands. No, this is to say that the reality is, is we have a mix and match situation. And I, I think took the words out of my mouth. Well, it's in the script. Well, you had well, he was on my channel for a mix and match thing. Yes. So we did that, and that was. I thought this was an video. original idea. No, no, no. But it is because that was mix and matching Bond brands. Period. Oh yes. This is now mix and matching frugal. This this authentic. was like saying like All Saints and all this other yes, stuff. This you was had, you know yeah. This so Roy, Royal Filmware kind of pays homage to Bond and makes yes. these Bond pieces where iconic alternatives will say you can go to. Old Navy and buy a polo for a fraction. Yes, that looks just and they'll like give links. Casino Royale yeah. or Tom Ford from Spectre or whatever it may be. By the way, and we're going to end this on an interesting discussion. I saved this for the very end. And Luke's the perfect ambassador poster child to discuss this. So, one of the number one pieces when somebody gets into the Bon Satorio oh, yes, world yes. is the Sunspell polo yes. from Casino Royale. Yet, when you talk about frugal, most, if not all of us, either before or during, probably wore a $15, $20 Target or Kmart, you know, Gap, polo. Old Navy. Gap, whatever. whatever it is, Navy polo. 
Why is it that some people will say, you know something, my first investment off of that, you know, old Navy polo is going to be Sunspell? What is it about that polo? So for starters, it's one where if you're looking to be sartorially connected to Bond, it's an immediate, it's a no brainer because A, it's always available. B, if you want to be kind of like I am, it's got what, 20 different colors? So yeah. you can, you buy the one, be like, I love, and not to mention, the one sure. downfall is the navy one that he wears is rarely on sale. But the other colors are on sale off and on throughout the year. Yeah. So, but still, $150 US, you can go buy a, a Nike or an Under Armour golf polo for 120 Why do that? Yeah. So, and I think the jump is, it's it's not like, um, you know, some, I mean, it's more, less, more, more getter, affordable. more better, it's more gettable, more gooder. It's you can do it. No drinks you, yet. No, no drinks actually, yet. Actually, no. It's more affordable than something like the NPL yeah. or whatever. Which N NPL's got its purpose, of course. But it's the perfect entry point because it's the most affordable and it's literally yeah. screen accurate, on screen, the brand, the shirt, the color. So the reason I wanted him to talk about it is not to use a bond vernacular, but nobody does it better as far as describing that sometimes, sometimes frugal and luxury brand will start to meld together. Mm -hmm. There's a very soft bridge yes. between them. And I think the Sunspell Polo is right there because, you know, if you get the Sunspell Polo, Sunspell Polo on sale, you can get it for $90, $90. when it's on sale. Yeah. If you buy a nice polo or something like that and you're spending $40 or $45, it's a relatively small jump. Yes. To go up 45 yes. more dollars, just times that polo by two, and you have the screen accurate right. one. And help me here, the pants he wears in that scene. Yeah. Do we know what they are? We don't. We think that they're Ted Baker. Okay, well, see, nowadays you watch that scene and you think he's incredibly ripped. He looks great in the sun spot, but why are his pants so friggin'? Because it's 2005. Right, but the top the top part, he it's way of a, it's yeah. more fitted look. But things were a little flared. But but now, would you be wearing a baggy chino? No, you'd no. probably wear a more slim fit. So, yeah. you're thinking to yourself, do I want to replicate this outfit completely, no. sartorially, accurately? Well, no, because number one, we don't really know what the pants are. Right. So, Spend that extra forty dollars, get the sun spell, and then go to Target or Uniqlo or yep. wherever and buy thirty dollar chinos and, and some brown shoes, and you're off to the race. And in the end, as we've talked about many times on both our channels, you do you. Yeah, like you make make a Luke outfit, make a David outfit, and yeah. if it's a mix between frugal and luxury, great. If it's all frugal, that's great too. Listen, we're a non judgment. It's a judgment-free zone. It's like Planet Fitness down here. Judgment has no place here. It's like Planet Fitness here. Yeah. There's a lunk alarm. Can I ask you another question? Yes. Maybe I, not. We've never actually talked about this. Oh. I feel... I so, feel like you should have checked beforehand. No, no, no. It, it applies. Oh. It applies. Because basically, if you go out and you buy the actual Sunspell, and you buy $30 Uniqlo pants and $40 Clarks or something, yeah, so yeah, you've yeah. got an entire Bond outfit for you looking at maybe 200 Right. Right. So... If you walk into a gatherall, someone's going to say, oh, the Sunspell, what do you think? I love the Sunspell. The material's incredible. Right. How often are people looking down and saying, oh, but your pants aren't accurate, even with something like this? No, they never do. They, I don't think it's a pants thing in this. Well, it's it's not a pants thing, but what they'll say is, are those the correct pants? Yeah. Well, and then you'll say, say no, outfit. they're a replica, and it's like, but you're right, the top's... They from get a, more are a little bit exposure. more exposure. They get yes. more love, it's, and the pants are like more forgiving. Yeah, like absolutely. If, if David were to come in to gather all the night, and he's wearing, I'd say something. You know, maybe the the Quantum of Solace Tom Ford outfit, right, with the Harrington the, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, say he does have the Tom Ford actual polo. I might say, like, is that the actual Tom Ford Harrington? I'll be like, yeah, but I doubt. I, but no one's going to say, is that the, the seven of mankind like, yeah, jeans? Are those the jeans? Yeah. I, if yeah. For some reason, they, I just don't think people really There are a few. Care. You, uh, Matt Spazer, Kyle. Yeah, there, there's a handful, but it, literally I could fit it on one hand. Yeah. I mean, maybe I would know it. Right. Like, no, but I just, me personally, I'm, I, it's more of a, sh like, I don't think I've even really looked into yeah. Even with the Naked and Afraid, or what's it, Naked and the, what is the brand? 
the No Time to Die jeans. Naked and Afraid is a TV show yeah, naked where and people obsessed. go out to the wild naked, naked. naked with their the wedding tackle, flipping around like like some sort of like floppy yeah, doll. That's the name of the brand, right? Naked and obsessed, or naked and you know what I'm talking about. It's yeah, naked and something. Or if they were to show up with those jeans on and an RGT or uh, excuse me, the Rag and Bone Henley, <laughs> I'd notice a Henley and I'd say, oh, he's, I, I don't even think I'd yeah. care to look. Except at that outfit doesn't go together. The naked jeans goes with an all of no, our I brown t-shirt. I know that. I know that. But I'm saying tonight. Da -da 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 I'm just saying. I don't. It's. I'm not saying they're like. Okay. Well, he did a Bond shirt, but right. did he do Bond pants? I don't know. No. Just don't no. Care. No. No. I think people are more. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll get some footage of it. I think people are more just. They get a kick out of. They can't always wear these things and have it recognized, whether it's frugal or not. And by the way, tonight we are making an attempt uh, to actually do the longest consecutive strafing round of watches it doesn't need to be an omega off. and it doesn't need to be a rolex it could be whatever you consider your bond watch right i, I don't think we'll allow apple watches that's where we'll draw the line but unless it's got the gold knight face gold knight 64 face we'll we'll look for those but not we, just a hat rack my friend that's just a hat rack that is totally all right luke thank you so much amazing conversation you never know where it's going to go in this channel when you get two friends together it just happens but Thanks for uh, uh, keeping the, the, the Bond end up. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.